Hey guys, and welcome back to episode four of Beautiful Guy Plays Terra Firma Punk. Uh, I've started working on this. I decided that if I wait to dig up a massive hole where that copper is and try out this sort of defensive design, um, I'm not going to live long enough. We're rapidly running out of lives. I just uh, ran away and ran back again to get the mobs away from our base. So I'm going to try and dig a smaller kind of proof of concept thing first. Um, basically, I need a way of getting away from trolls if they spawn outside the house and this might be a waste of my first copper pick but I can I can get another one relatively easily as long as we can survive and we can get out of our house when the sun comes up and I've done like I say a little bit of testing in creative and I've seen that the trolls are they're similar size to iron golems in vanilla so you need like a, a two wide base otherwise they just walk over the gap and they're about three blocks tall as well uh, I didn't test like exact sizes, but I think a three high gap is enough for them to fit through like a, a tunnel. Um, so I want to make this pit at least three blocks deep. And then I'm going to try and get some trap doors now that we've got our three by three grid and we've got a saw. Um, so that during the night if stuff comes after us, it falls into the pit. And hopefully that'll mean I can just jump over the pit because it's only two blocks and run away in the mornings. And then we can actually start making some progress. Um, I did ask on the forums and uh, someone has kindly <laughs> responded to me and said that yeah some biomes are worse than others so we are in a pretty bad biome here apparently if you um like you live in a, a plains biome you only really get kind of zombies and some of the the weaker mobs so if this fails we'll try that but i'm determined we're not going to give up that easily we've got three whole lives remaining if i can get this channel built we might stand a chance of getting a, a foothold, getting ourselves established. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just going to work on this. I'm not going to make you watch while I dig out this entire channel. Uh, but I will cut back in if anything interesting happens. And otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit once I've made some progress. Well, uh, it's more or less done. I say more or less, because I've just noticed a bit of a flaw in the design here. Oh, there's something in this. What was that? I saw a shadow. You have to forgive me if my nerves are a little bit destroyed at the moment. Uh, I noticed that the zombies fall in quite happily, but then they... Let's move we'll be able to see this. Yeah, there goes another one in the pit. They seem to be able to crawl out of this... Um, this ladder. I've got that in there in case I fall in so I can get out. Uh, let's see. What is this? Yep, the yetis are in there. Okay, that's good. So it seems to be working. Hopefully, this will mean we can relax a little bit. If all the mobs are going to be trapped in that hole, I need to... Mm, well, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that ladder, basically. Um, but then we're free to go and check out what's going to happen with that. Uh, well, basically gather that copper deposit, right? Now, it also occurred to me that I have no idea how deep that copper is, so we have to figure out how practical it's going to be for me to be turning that whole area into a base early on. But I think that's going to be what we do next episode. Um, this is going to be a little bit shorter. I have spent quite a lot of time working on this off camera. I just cut it out because I figured I'd rather have a short episode where something happens than a long boring episode. Oh, there we go. See? You jerk. <laughs> the long boring episode where all I do is mine blocks for like 30 minutes or however long. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm pretty happy this is working. We can continue now. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye